The variety of life that inhabits the deep water takes shape in ways that our earthly imaginations can hardly fathom. Some creatures feature translucent heads with huge, penetrating eyes inside, nagle fangs, bioluminescent lures, and gelatinous flesh. Others light for predation or defense, and the food chain becomes a little unpredictable at those depths where photosynthesis cannot occur. Some creatures that are typically thought of as free feeders have evolved to the point where they are unsettling carnivores, while others have become such adept hunters that their mouths have grown to be larger than the rest of their bodies or have teeth that pierce the night in all directions, from the ethereal to the spooky. The deep sea is home to a universe of adaptations that jolt the imagination, and it seems to get more ominous the deeper you go. What is it about the deep water that gives rise to some of the most bizarre species ever discovered and are like nightmare monsters to the human eye? It's important to keep in mind as we respond to this that what we perceive as frightening or unattractive is actually a necessary quality for the fish to survive. Before we proceed, kindly return the favor and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and activate the bell notification feature to stay up to speed with new video publications. The deep sea is essentially its own world because of the extreme cold, total darkness, lack of food, high ocean pressure, and extremely high water pressure. Human bodies could not survive there. Deep sea organisms had to develop to survive in this harsh habitat. Furthermore, some of those adaptations give deep sea animals a peculiar appearance in our eyes. It is important to analyze what the deep sea is in order to comprehend deep sea fish. According to most measures, the deep ocean begins below 1,000 meters. 3,280 feet. The epipelagic zone, which reaches a depth of 200 meters, 656 feet, is a term used to describe the surface waters that receive sunlight. The mesopelagic zone, which is between 200 to 1,000 meters, 3,280 feet deep, is the second layer. Though some fish that live here exhibit deep sea traits like bioluminescence, this thin veil of light is not actually the deep sea. The bathypelagic zone, 1,000 to 4,000 meters, or 3,280, 13,123 feet deep, marks the beginning of the deep ocean, which continues into the abyssopelagic zone, 4,000 to 6,000, or 13,123 to 19,685 feet deep and beyond. Because of the tremendous depth and total blackness of these strata, anything that lives there endures extremely intense pressure, Additionally, there is little dissolved oxygen present, and the water's temperature can drop as low as minus 1.8 to 3 degrees Celsius. A sun-drenched tropical coral reef, for instance, produces a vastly different living environment than do these circumstances. Deep-sea fish have evolved distinctive physical features to survive in these harsh environments. Massive eyeballs, long, sharp teeth, blazing bioluminescence, and strangely formed bodies are all quite frequent. To determine how the various circumstances contribute to the creation of the ugliest and scariest fish, let's examine each one separately. Deep sea fish don't need to have vibrant colors or patterns because there isn't enough light. It is necessary to choose darker, more ominous hues like black or red, which has a black appearance. To create patterns of light across their bodies, a lot of deep sea creatures use bioluminescence. Where there isn't naturally occurring light, these amazing light shows are employed for protection, communication with mates, luring prey, and camouflage. A tiny amount of light still reaches the mesopelagic, commonly known as the toilet, but not much. Red is the earliest hue to go away since it has the longest weave length and the least energy of all the colors in the visible spectrum. Many organisms that spend time in the toilet take advantage of this by changing into shades of red that make them almost invisible at depths. Its scarlet skin, big eyes that seem to glow and spin like protrusions from its trenches all give it a far more scarily appearance than the cephalopods of shallower waters, which may help explain why it has such a horrifying moniker. However, just as its eerie red color serves an evolutionary purpose despite our perceptions of it, so too do its other evil traits. In contrast to practically all other cephalopods, vampire squid are not genuinely bloodthirsty hunters, despite their eerie name. The majority of the calories used by this detrivore come from marine snow. Since they can blend into their surroundings and avoid being seen by predators, many deep-sea creatures are transparent. Marine snow is a fine powder that falls from the surface of the water and is composed of crustaceans that have decomposed. The vampire squid possesses two long retractable filaments in addition to four arm pairs with finger-like tendrils called cirri. It rests almost immobile between 600 and 900 meters below the surface, 
quietly accumulating marine snow on its mucus-covered filaments and sucking it down. Some deep-water fish have enormous, menacing-looking eyes that resemble wolf eyes. These eyes are usually designed to detect movement or tone variations in the dark rather than colors or light. Other fish could have no eyes at all or very small eyes. Fish with big lenses on their tubular eyes have evolved to only stare up at predators or prey that are silhouetted above. Fish have odd-looking adaptations because there is little food in the vast, deep oceanic seas, so they must be able to catch whatever they come across. This is another explanation for their peculiar appearance. Ambush predators have long, fang-like teeth in their mouths that are poised to snare anything tasty as they wait for meals. The fish can take advantage of any food, even one that is larger than themselves, thanks to their large, hinged mouths and enormous stomachs and expanded bodies. A frightful-looking bioluminescent fishing rod is used by other deep-sea fish, such as the deep-sea anglerfish, to draw prey to their jaws. The majority of them live 300 meters below the surface. The word anglerfish, which refers to a large number of species, is derived from the manner these fish often hunt by attracting food with a lure attached to their heads. This is made up of an elysium, a modified dorsal spine that serves as a fishing rod and an esk, a bulbous bioluminescent fishing lure that gets its glow from symbiotic bacteria. The anglerfish uses these to attract a variety of prey species to their gaping mouth, where they have been known to consume absurd amounts of food at once. Anglerfish have extremely flexible jaws and teeth that point inward, so there is little chance of the food escaping when they catch it. This allows them to swallow whatever they come across. In addition, deep-sea fish have cellular and physiological adaptations that set them apart from more well-known shallow-water species in appearance due to the tremendous ocean pressures. Successful deep-water fish have evolved to use the least amount of energy possible. Therefore, they frequently lack the muscular, streamlined forms required to swim great distances, and instead have strangely compressed or elongated body shapes. Numerous species lack even a swim bladder. Some have skin that is slimy rather than scaled, and that makes them look creepy too. It's important to be aware that although deep-water fish can appear frightening, some photographs you see may make them appear more ominous than they actually are. When a fish is raised to the surface, the highly compressed gases inside of it can expand and drastically deform the fish. As a result, if you come across any extremely strange images of deep-sea fish, be mindful that they might not accurately depict the species. And now, let us hear from you in the comment section below. Keep in mind that more videos will be up soon. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell in order to stay up to date with new video alerts. Also, sharing indicates you want to see our content reach a wider audience. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.